Constructing angles. Constructing angles is different from drawing angles. So when you're drawing angles, you would use a protractor to measure the angle that you need to draw. When you are constructing angles, you can't use a protractor. So the skills you'll need for this video is to construct a perpendicular bisector, to construct an angle bisector, so that's when you're cutting a given angle in half, and also to construct an equilateral triangle. So that's a triangle with all three sides equal and all three angles equal. For this video, you won't be using a protractor, but you will need a sharp pencil, a ruler, and a pair of compasses. We'll start by constructing angles of 90 degrees and 45 degrees. So the first thing you'll need to do is draw a straight line with a ruler. Then we're going to use a perpendicular bisector to cut that line in half at a right angle. So start by opening your compasses to more than half the length of the line and draw an arc starting on one side of the line and then draw another arc starting on the other side of the line without changing the width of your compass. Now you have two points where these arcs meet and what you want to do is join those two points together. So you've now constructed the perpendicular bisector, which means you've constructed an angle of 90 degrees. So now we want to construct an angle of 45 degrees, and we can do this by cutting this angle of 90 degrees in half. And the way to cut an angle in half is to use an angle bisector. So you want to start by putting the point of your compass on the point of the angle. And I'm just going to adjust the distance here so that the lines don't get too confusing and don't overlap each other. So I want to keep the distance the same and draw arcs like this. Then where those two arcs meet the lines of my angle, I'm going to draw two more arcs. And I want to keep the distance the same the entire time. So you can see here, I'm just checking that that distance is still the same. But I'm drawing an arc from this point and this point. Now where those two arcs meet, I join that to the original point of my angle. So I have now cut the angle of 90 degrees in half and constructed an angle of 45 degrees. So it's really important in a construction like this that you can keep track of which construction lines you need to use at different times. So to recap, when we were constructing the angle of 45 degrees, we started out by just looking at this angle of 90 degrees and then putting the compass here to create these two arcs. And then we needed to put the compass at this point and this point to create these two arcs. And then where those arcs met, that's the point that we join to here to make our angle. So here are two more angles that you need to be able to construct. We'll start with constructing the angle of 60 degrees, because once we have 60 degrees, then you can bisect that angle and get the angle of 30 degrees. So again, we start by just drawing a straight line with a ruler. So we'll begin this construction as if we're about to construct an equilateral triangle. So you want to open your compass to the length of the line and then draw an arc from each end. Where those two arcs meet, join that point to one end of your line. So when you join that point to the end of your line, you will have constructed an angle of 60 degrees. And this is because we're using the fact that this would make an equilateral triangle, and each angle in an equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degrees. So now that we've got our angle of 60, we can use an angle bisector to cut it in half and make two angles of 30 degrees. So start with the point of your compass on the point of the angle, and we're going to draw two arcs like this. And remember not to adjust the distance of your pencil at any point. Then using those two points where your arcs meet your lines, draw two more arcs. And then where those arcs meet, connect that point to this point here. So now what you have is two angles of 30 degrees, making a larger angle of 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. 